Okay, so this is a screencast to show you how to create a revalidation um, portfolio and then how to submit it. So first of all, we need to go to Select Portfolio to create the portfolio. Now I've already added in my CPD activities, so I've logged the 20 hours. If I go to Content and CPD, we can just double check that that looks, all looks okay. 2013 activities, series of different activities there and the total is 20 hours. So I'm ready to do my revalidation now. What I now need to do is add my evaluative statement. So if I go back to the dashboard, I need to actually organise my portfolio. And you'll see in this section here that it says organise your portfolio into pages and that's a live link there to go to your pages. So I'm going to click on that and I want to create a page. The page I want to create is 2013. Oh, it's already there. Look, 2013 revalidation. I can give it a description if I want to. I'm not going to for now, but I am going to add some tags just to help me be able to find it in future. Okay, just to save that. Now it's taking me to the section where I can add content, and you'll see that there's a variety of different types of content. So I can add um, files to download, a folder. I can add uh, entries from a journal if I've been using the journal feature in the portfolio. I can add the CPD, which we'll do in a second, um, and navigation if it's got a few pages, plans, notes, and the profile section, and also sections of your CV. For revalidation, the main areas that we'll need are the uh, CPD area, so I'm just going to drag that in now pick it up and drag it in, it asks me which CPD I want to show, so at the moment I've just got the one, but as time goes on I'll have more there, so click on that one, click on save, and it will then bring in all the things from that section, and display the total hours there with my activities. Now I want to also put in there my uh, evaluative statement, I'm going to put this into a notes box, um, that means that the text will actually be on the page, so it's a lot easier to read. I'm just going to call it Vote of Statement. Now it's really up to you. If you'd rather have a Word document or something else that um, is downloadable, you could use that instead. But you'll see in a minute how this looks, and I think this helps, um, helps it look clearer. Also, you can edit it as you go with that as well. Oops, excuse me. Here's what I prepared earlier. It doesn't want to let me copy. There we go. And you can see it told me it was 237 words, so I'm in the 250 word limit. I'm just going to paste it in there. You'll be able to tell this isn't a real one, it's uh, actually just some Latin text. Um, but I've decided to structure it over the three different criteria. And I'm just going to save that. I could format it if I wanted to, add bold, um, add any links or anything like that that you want to, but I'm just going to keep it nice and simple and you'll see now that we've got the evaluative statement next to the CPD items. Now I also have an up-to-date um, version of the PKSB so I also would like to include that in my submission. So it's a file so it's in Excel at the moment so I just drag this in and it asks me what I want to um, upload so I can choose my file here it's on my desktop this is the one and it's added that there, and I want to make sure that um, people know what that is. So I'm just going to call that PKSB, 2013 PKSB, so that's my most up-to-date version. Click on save, and now, so now I've got those three items. Um, now it looks a little bit blocky there, so you can edit the layout if you wish. If you go to edit layout, there's a variety of different layouts there for you to choose from. Um, I'm going to give this one a go. And move things around a little. So if I put my statement in that side, 
all the CPD log there and also the PKSB and then it's all nice and neat on that section. And I think that's done. So I'm going to click on the done. And there we have it, my revalidation page. I can have a look in there. So you can build it as you go and then go back in and edit it. You don't need to do it all in one go. So the other thing that we need to do is to share the page. Because we need to share it um, in order for the assessors to be able to see it. So I need to go to share with users. I want There's a group um, that I need to search for. And it is the professional registration assessors. So I want to add that group to make sure that they have access. Um, I don't want to restrict when they have access, so I'm going to add it there and just save that. So that now makes sure that this page here is accessible by the professional registration assessors. And I'm done with my page. I've created it and I've shared it and it's all ready to go. So now I need to go back into the main VLE because I want to submit it. So I'm going to go to the validation section. I've done all these areas, so now I just need to jump to the submitting your validation and the submission page. And because I've now created uh, my revalidation in Mahara, sorry, the, the Silic portfolio, it will bring up this here and it will bring up all the different pages. Um, of course, I've only created one, so it just has the one for now. And uh, it's simply a case of just clicking on submit. And it will then tell me um, that it has been submitted. The changes have been saved and it tells me what submitted page it is. Um, and that's all there is to it.